he's sometimes used to seeing, as you say, from the shy and coming in with all these different picks, but does go with the standard Nard. They've got a pretty decent front line with a very good back line to be able to kind of go for it. Overall, I feel uh, like... Keep track of further on. And actually, IG going for this dragon. It's a bit risky to say the least. They have got pressure in the mid lane, though, so I feel like JDG shouldn't be oh, too so low. aggressive here, but Shun's so low, he was left to tank it. Rookie had pressure in the mid lane, but he was just a little bit too late to the party. They're going to try and keep tanking it. Flash in. There is the shield of Daybreak. They can't quite get the kill, though, just yet. Luma picks up himself a kill or a death even but the dragon goes over to the side of jdg and now they're trying to turn around this fight but this wink and rookie combo is still very very healthy here finally comes kanavi the cleanse used by wink dragon over to jdg flash burned by loken as he looks for more no and more aggressive plays the bouncing grenade he is no matter rookie does survive the fourth shot but here is the tp coming in from the nar the shy is here they're gonna pepper him down with the make it rain the flash in the shy jumps over it's all action all the time and this is what you wanted to see from jdg versus ig it's for this side that teams better teams have punished it definitely is a case right here, and I love what JD Gaming are doing. Look how far and how hard they're actually pushing that vision in. She is in a dicey position, though. He goes down instantly. Oh, she a about to lose. Add another L to that win loss column against Rookie, as we can see Kanavi now being taken down. What? Rookie, it's a 2v3. <laughs> um, <laughs> but it doesn't matter because his team has uh, so much pressure in mid lane and so much uh, pressure on that. I could be Clem. I could be your oh, boy, girl. It's okay, whatever you want. I wonder what happens it's to okay. Shy, though. It's, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, I do too. As he gets locked up on the top side, has no Maganar left, and he should be pretty. Ooh, they do land the spear, though. Javelin Toss has been hit, and now Zoom's in a little bit of trouble. They land another one. They force two flashes out of JDG. The Shockwave comes in. Does he have enough damage? Drake, you'll have to see for JDG if they are in a position to be able to contest or not. First tower goes over to the Shy in the top side. He's now, now kind of chipping away a nice little advantage for himself against Zoom on this Renekton. And this doesn't get really better for Zoom at all. It really kind of just kind of... Like, Renekton's great if you can get the flank off onto the squishies, but in terms of the 1v1, Nar kind of just wins that matchup as the longer this game goes on. Now, this is a pretty interesting macro decision coming in from IG. They're saying that we're just going to speed up the pace of the game. They to can't the really do much about this. They're kind of, as you said, being forced away. The Shy just playing bouncer. Keep away, if you will, with the Orianna Shockwave, which does land on the Shie. They don't quite get the full damage combo down, but with the bullet time, that's a fantastic Solar Flare. The exhaust has to come down onto Zoom. They jump in with the Grand Entrance, but it will be Bellan going down a trade of top for support. The help bars though are not looking amazing on the side of JDG. They need to be so Just so get uh, a further snowball lead onto the likes of Shun. So you know, no harm, no foul. If it works, yeah. you know. It's just so much more scary to look at, and there's no way they can walk into this dragon pit. It's just that's enough. proven time and time again that he is one of the best, if not the best, mid laner in the world, and he doesn't fall for those tricks. Yeah, rookie. Oh, Keeps God. a hold of his ultimate while... Oh, the Shy flashed in. He thought he'd get the last little tick of his uh, of his ultimate down. The Zoom jumps in, but he's taken already so, so low. Gets himself just about alive, but goes down anyway. Nothing he can really do there. And this has kind of been the story of Renekton in the LPL. The, team, so the front line on the team. Even though I know full well Zoom, with his mechanics, can't take the Shy off. Oh, oh, unlucky. Rookie with the perfect, perfect position. As soon as the curtain call comes out, gets himself the shockwave. There's nothing that Loken can do. There is no way in hell this Baron is being stolen. But Lando needs to maybe walk away a little bit. He's not really uh, the healthiest, but Shun does eventually come he back. He reads mines and he kills Loken. He smite fight for things if, oh, it's, if Shun's alive. On the back. Oh, Luma. Oh, no. He's on the back, but he's a little alone. He misses the Zena Blade, and he is going to go down. And as well as that, Loken gets chunked out by Shun. They do use the bullet time. They don't even need to use the Shockwave just yet. Shie is deleted. Loken, nowhere to go. That is going to be Zoom left all by himself. It's four quick kills, and it's going to be the saddest kite around. A clean ace for IG over JDG. And this is going to be the game one going in favor of IG. This was, this was textbook. You know, honestly, this is kind of a throwaway game. The only lesson I got here is please don't give rookie six kills before 10 minutes. Because if you do, 
this is what the game is gonna look like. Uh, unfortunately, this is what happened. Early game skirmish into absolute massacre of a snowball. I do think that JD Gaming can still try to alleviate some of these situations through draft, have some winning side lanes, have a little bit more early aggression.